Yo, what's up, NHL fans out there around the world, across the planet? Hope you all enjoyed, enjoyed the 2010 Olympics. It was the best show on earth. It was a great gold medal final. It was a great show. I mean, everything from to, actually bobsledding, speed skating, skiing, cross country, everything. I watched it all. It was phenomenal stuff. No doubt about it. But now, folks, hockey is back and... Uh, Here's the trade rumors for 2010, from March the 2nd, 2010. Here's some news that's just breaking in across the NHL. Well, folks, it looks like, officially, last night, um, the big Artukin, Eugenie Artukin, the former Tampa Bay Lightning Anaheim Duck, has been acquired from the Ducks for Nathan Auto, I think, Orstrak. Um, Nathan Orstrak and a conditional pick for 2011. I think this is a good move for Don Waddell. I mean, you know, Artukin's a big guy. You know, he wasn't playing too much for the Ducks. But when he did play, he was a big factor for this team. So, you know, when I look at this move for the Ducks, you can see that they're in selling mode. Um, I don't know if they're in full selling mode or they're in just selling mode. So I think they're just like Carolina. I think these two teams are in selling mode. So the mood right now. I've been listening to a few radio stations, Fan 590, everything. And uh, the mood I'm getting, I think some teams are ready to make some blockbusters. I think we've seen all the blockbusters so far with Kovachuk, um, Dion Phaneuf. I think all the big blockbusters with the big names already passed. So now you're going to start to see deals for lesser names. Basically, you know, your second and third tier players for basically draft picks. Because uh, I heard one rumor this morning that the Vancouver Canucks are interested in Aaron Ward, and they want to see if they can get him for a conditional draft pick. You know, that's what happened recently for, uh, um, what's his name, uh, Jordan Leopold, the former Calgary Flame, who got traded from the Florida Panthers for a second-round pick. That's what Vancouver's trying to do right now, but we'll see what happens. You know, they got another 20-something hours to go. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they pull off a move here. You know, over the years, I've seen lots of great trades, lots of rumors, lots of everything. But, folks, you know, the one thing is when, 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 you, when you're in the, in the moment to make a trade, it takes years. It takes months and months and months to make that move that could push your team to a Stanley Cup final or make the playoffs. And that's what every team wants to do. Even if the team's not making the playoffs, they want to improve their team for the NHL draft this summer. So I think the team's looking both ways. They can rebuild their team or they can blow it up, start off new next season, maybe go up to free agency and, you know, sign someone that's going to help their team. So that's the whole deal in trade rumors. You get what I'm saying, folks? <laughs> well, it looks like Matt Stajan has signed a four-year contract with the Calgary Flames worth about $3.5 million per season. So it's a three-year deal around $14 million. Uh, Four-year deal worth for around $14 million, sorry to say. And I think Daryl Sutter is re-upped him with some of his players to keep this core around. I think it, Jerome McGinley likes playing with Matt Stajan, so he brings some life to his team. Uh, you know, I didn't see the chemistry between Aginla and Jokinen, so they shipped Jokinen to the Rangers in that deal. So that, that acquired um, Chris Higgins, so... I mean, when I look at it, I think Jokinen is just a rental player for the Rangers, so I don't think the Rangers are going to resign Jokinen at all. They just want to get his money, get it off the, their cap, and be able to go fishing this off season. And rumors there are right now, I heard one rumor this morning, it's just a crazy rumor that Peter Forsberg might be coming back to the NHL for a playoff run. Um, I don't know if that's 100% sure. I just I think it's just a rumor. You know, I just love how they throw out big rumors like that and Yarmer Yager. I can say for 100% Yarmer Yager might be back in NHL next season. For 100% sure, he will be back. And I don't know what team yet. There's talk. There's Edmonton. There's a few other big-name teams involved. The Islanders. Um, don't ever rule out the Pittsburgh Penguins with Mario Lemieux. They have had such a close relationship for over the years, and they always will. Um, so, you know, anything's possible. Okay, folks. Here's a few other news for uh, today. Those was news from last night. So basically last night there was a lot of movement, a lot of trades, a lot of everything last last night. So 
Here's the news for today. It looks like veteran Chris Chelios is back in NHL, folks. I mean, all you hockey fans out there, the oldest player in the NHL is back. I mean, Chelios is going to really help out the Atlanta Thrashers. They have a lot of young defensemen. He's going to teach them a few things, play some defense. <laughs> and, you know, Chelios is still getting the job done. He's been playing for the Chicago Wolves for a long time this season, and he's finally got a chance to get back to the pros and sign a pro contract with a pro team. So it's good to see him get a chance from Don Waddell. I think Don Waddell's made a character move here, and it just helps your team, you know. Sometimes you don't always have to make the the biggest sign-in to, you know, take you to the playoffs. Sometimes you got to build for the future and, you know, in a way bring some experience in and, you know, sell a few more tickets. So uh, it looks like Andy Sutton, the big defenseman from the New York Islanders, According to a report from TSN.ca and Bruce Goriak of the Ottawa Sun, it's um, basically a second-round pick going to the New York Islanders for Andy Sutton. Can you imagine? I can't believe Andy Sutton gets traded for a second-round pick. I thought that maybe it cost him maybe a player and a pick, but uh, it's like I said, folks, I think right now, from now to the deadline tomorrow at noon, you're going to see noon Pacific, so 12 o'clock Pacific, noon and uh, three eastern so i think you're gonna see a lot more deals like this draft picks for players so don't be surprised if you see more of these type of movement as the the, the hours progress so i'll be back again folks for the nhl trade rumors well i'm going to bring you one rumor <laughs> as i speak there's one rumor i'm hearing this is coming from montreal from the roof on the uh <laughs> Funish, uh, something. Mark Defoy reported on, only in an irresistible offer. Well, there has been an offer for Yaroslav Halak, and there's been an offer for um, Carey Price, and it's saying here that uh, uh, if they're going to trade Carey Price or Halak, they're going to have to take... Uh, Roman Hammerlick off their hands too. But most teams don't want Hammerlick and his five point five million for next season. So it's gonna to be tough for the Montreal Canadiens to make this move. I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull it off, but Pierre Gauthier, you never know. He's made big deals in the past. And I won't be surprised if he pulls off a move with the Chicago Blackhawks within the next ten hours. So folks, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This is what it's all about. NHL trade rumors. 2010 for March 2nd. This is the one, the only. Mark Spencer saying bye bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, folks.